you there, Tilly? Good morning, Lucia. What's the matter? Could you pick up my child and take care of him for a while? What? I'm busy, unlike you, so just do it for me, okay? Hold on. This is just too sudden. Why do I need to take care of your child? Well, I inherited the ownership of a luxury hotel my mother-in-law owned when she was hospitalized. That's the first time I heard that. It starts from today. A large group of visitors is going to be staying during the weekend, so I'm going to be really busy. Which is why I'm asking you, the mother who looks like she has the most time on her hands, to take care of my child. I'll probably be asking similar favors of you from now on, okay? Wait, hold on. That hotel! My husband and I are going to be staying there over the weekend. Huh? What? Oh, <laughs> you at a luxury hotel? We made a reservation six months back. Oh, what's the occasion? It's me and my husband's 15th anniversary. His parents are going to be taking care of our son, so there's no way I'll be able to manage your child as well. Are you sure about this? Huh? The lodging expenses are $500 per night. Someone as poor as you won't be able to stay here. <laughs> we already made the reservation, so we obviously know the prices. You knew and still made the reservation? You don't seem to be getting it. This is a luxury hotel. It's not some cheap lodging people like you go to. Do you understand? Of course I understand that's a luxury hotel. But we're not as poor as you think we are, you know? Hmm, is that so? Anyways, I won't be able to take custody of your child. My husband and I have plans to stay at your hotel this weekend. We look forward to it. Good morning, Lucia. Is now a good time? Oh, if it isn't Tilly. So you decided to take care of my child for me after all? I'm talking about our reservations. We tried checking in earlier, but we were told it was canceled. What? The concierge even said that we had to pay the cancellation fee in full since the cancellation was made this morning. But I don't remember making any cancellations, and neither does my husband. Care to explain what's going on? What do you mean, explain? If it was canceled, it was canceled. That's all there is to it. Could you just pay the cancellation fees and go home? I'm busy preparing for the group of visitors right now. Just because we're friends doesn't mean I can give you special services. So go home. <laughs> but we didn't cancel it. Even if we can no longer stay here, I'm not going home until I get a satisfactory answer. I said it was canceled. That's all there is to it. If you won't go home, I'll call the police. Fine. I'll just ask Mrs. Eleanor, the real owner of this hotel. What? My mother-in-law? Is there anyone else? I wasn't going to call her since she's in the hospital, but an acquaintance of mine who works here as a waitress said she's fine now. Apparently, she can give orders in case something happens, so I'll ask her. Um, what? How do you know her contact information? You know one of our waitresses? Tilly! <coughs> 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 Lucia. Oh, finally, a reply. What did you do? I told Mrs. Eleanor about what happened. She told me to tell you that you're fired. Oh, uh, what? She also said, don't call yourself the owner when you're just a waitress. She said she might have to fire you from your job as a waitress as well. Why? It's true I was a waitress until now, but my husband has no female relatives, so... I automatically become this hotel's proprietress now that Miss Eleanor is hospitalized. I was just trying to take over for her. Why am I fired? I told Mrs. Eleanor that her reservation was canceled abruptly, so she asked the front desk about it. Uh, when they checked the security footage for this morning. Security footage? They saw you canceling our reservations. What? Apparently, you have high-quality security cameras that can capture screens clearly. The cameras were that good? Apparently, that being the case, Mrs. Eleanor said that the fake propertist Lucia Harper needs to pack her bags and go home. No, but this is my chance now that my mother-in-law's in the hospital! 
Mrs. Eleanor is probably going to contact you later. But apparently she asked her nephew, who's experienced running a hotel, to take care of things while she's gone. What? Mrs. Eleanor's hospitalization was so sudden, so apparently she just got here. What? She's already here? Apparently she was already going to come here next month to train under Mrs. Eleanor. What? I wasn't the one who was going to inherit the hotel? She said the staff was already told about it. You didn't hear? Um... I find it difficult to believe that someone who can't even listen announcements is fit to become the next propertess. Not to mention that she just cancels the reservations of customers. What? You're the one to blame! Poor people like you shouldn't come to luxury hotels in the first place! I was just trying to make sure you didn't throw away all your money. Stop messing around. Why do you keep calling me poor? But the things you wear are always so shabby. What, shabby? You only wear cheap clothes from fast fashion stores. The fact that you live with your husband's family, too? You have to depend on your husband's parents since you have no money, right? <laughs> Is that why you keep calling me poor? You were probably lying back there, too. You mean how Mrs. Eleanor's nephew is in charge while she's gone? Yes, it's all a lie, isn't it? There's no way someone like you knows Miss Eleanor's contact information anyways. I know her contact information from work. What? Work? I'm a writer for a travel magazine. Huh? The waitress I said he was my acquaintance. She's the one who showed me around when I wrote an article on the hotel. A writer for a travel magazine? You? I stopped writing when I got married and had children. But I decided to start doing it again thanks to my son and husband's support. I told my husband's parents about it, and I was able to get a job writing a special article for a travel magazine my brother-in-law is the chief editor of. The theme was luxury hotels a couple would go to for their 15th anniversary. Uh, a special article for a travel magazine? And you chose this hotel? Yes. The plans for an interview were ruined thanks to you, though. Uh, well... While Mrs. Eleanor was checking the security footage, I was explaining the situation to my brother-in-law. Thanks to you, they have nothing to put in the special feature section and trying to figure out what to do. But why not just pretend there was never any cancellation? There are rooms available, so everything will be alright if you just stay there instead, no? I think that's impossible. Why? The room me and my husband were supposed to stay at is now the playhouse of your children, because you can find anyone to take care of them, right? Uh... One of the waitresses checked the room because of complaints from the other customers. Apparently, they destroyed the shelves and cabinets and wrote on the walls and floors with a marker. The room was a mess, she said. You're kidding! I was planning on making that room the center of my article, but it seems that's impossible now. I had no idea this would happen. Also, it seems your children were taken away and scolded in the staff room. What? Where was their mother during all this? Um, well... You should probably just show yourself in the situation. <coughs> Tilly! Answer my calls! <coughs> What should I do? My husband divorced me! Oh, hi, fake propertis. Oh, don't call me that, will you? During yesterday's mess, you were cheating on your husband with another guy in one of the rooms, weren't you? Um... Not only that, but you pretended to be in charge and made a mess of things, even ruining one of the hotel's best rooms. The article which was supposed to give your hotel some publicity was delayed, along with the campaign that was planned to start with its release. No wonder you were divorced. Oh, can't you do something about this? My husband is suing me for the cheating. That alone is enough to make my head hurt. But I have to pay for the damages my kids paid to the room and all sorts of other fines. I don't even have a job anymore now that I was fired. Oh, is that so? That must be tough. <laughs> Yes, it is! Good luck! <laughs> huh? What's with your tone? I'll block you now.
Wait! I'm being asked to pay a huge amount of money! What am I supposed to do on my own? Tilly! I couldn't really have done anything if I wanted. I heard Lucia's parents cut ties with her after this incident, and her husband got custody of their child after the divorce. She isn't close with any of her other relatives either, so she's completely on her own basically. The guy she was cheating on her husband with too disappeared after paying the fine. She now lives alone in a tiny apartment, without even enough money to move even if she wanted to. Apparently, she works part-time jobs, but is basically useless when it comes to work. Even though she's got tons of debt, it seems that it's only a matter of time before she gets fired again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.